So what's the anti-Nintendo outrage today? Well guess what? They're upset over this one line. Like these people find a way to be angry over everything. Okay. I lost sight of the other toad in here. Now they're lost. Okay. And yeah, there's only one of him. Okay. But these people are really just upset over this simple text mistake. Like, who cares? Like, who honestly cares about a simple text mistake? Like, these people are... Honestly, I think these the Nintendo haters are some of the most miserable people in the entire planet, okay? Like, yes, obviously you can criticize that be critical of Nintendo, but being angry over this is just absolutely absurd. Like, these people are absolutely, like, wow. Absolutely. And there are actually like, several threads of this, so we can actually make several videos of it, make them for multiple days. Yeah, we could actually milk this entire you know, people being upset over my noisy buzz. I'm like, this is gonna be the next Tears of the Cam. People are gonna find reasons to hate this game. You know, absolutely stupid reasons, okay? Like, not actual reasons. Like, they're gonna make up reasons to hate the game because at this point, they're kind of grasping at straws. Yeah, and we all know why they hate this game because of that IGN review. And I just find it funny. All the whole time, they're like, don't trust the critics. The audience score matters more. But then they'll trust the IGN review, which is IGN is one of the most hated game reviewers of all time. For example, they gave the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Time Darkness a 4 out of 10. Yes, a 4 out of 10 because the game was too hard. Yes, the game was too hard so they gave it a 4 out of 10, okay? The game was too complicated for IGN, okay? Or let's forget the fact that they couldn't pass the Cuphead tutorial level. Which is pretty funny. I've never played Cuphead before, but I do find it funny that they couldn't get past the tutorial level. Like, you'd think that they have at least some brain cells so they could pass the tutorial level on Cuphead. But yeah, this is so funny that these people are really just upset over these very small and minor text changes. And this really shows Nintendo, fan Nintendo haters are like grasping at straws at this point. Kind of like the whole Tears of the Kingdom thing, okay? People were upset over Tears of the Kingdom. Ever since it was revealed, like, I don't understand why Tears of the Kingdom brought so much hatred and raids out of these people. Like, what, like, not one game has brought so much hatred and raids more than Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if the hatred for Mario and Luigi was it, but last, obviously, because it is, you know, at the end of the day, a Mario and Luigi game. Like, Mario and Luigi games are never known for the plot. They're never known for, like, the complex story or having, you know, complex worlds like Zelda does. But, yeah, this was this video here, and goodbye.